gang, Trevor Beck here, and today I want to show you how you can take Google's Maps engine and combine that with data that you collect in a spreadsheet to create a map similar to what you see here. The beauty of this is that you can collect all your data through a Google Forms and a spreadsheet and end up with data that when you click on gives you all sorts of information. Unlike doing something in Google Maps, this is actually all generated from information that we collect in the spreadsheet. Let's take a look first at how we would start this off. First step, of course, is create a form. Let's assume that you're a teacher and it's September and you want to find out where all your students went during the vacation. You can just get them to fill out all this information. The beauty about the way Google Maps works is that by combining city and country information in your data, Google Maps will automatically look that information up for you. In the end, here's a spreadsheet that I'm going to have. So I've got my students' names, I've got the city, country, favorite thing that they've seen, favorite thing they did. You can combine all sorts of information in this spreadsheet that will end up being displayed on the map engine itself. Next thing we need to do is go and create the new map. By visiting mapsengine.google.com, you'll be asked here to create a new map, or once you've created some, open up a new map. What we're going to do here is, of course, create a new map. Here's our new map. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a new name. The nice thing about Maps Engine is it allows you to create layers. Layers could be a collection of type of information. So for example, uh, in this case, I could have students from different classrooms. So I could have class A, class B, class C, all as different layers. I could also do something like animals, where anything that has four legs would be one layer, anything that is a bird would be another layer. In this case, because I'm only going to have one set of information, I'm just going to keep the one layer. But I am going to rename it by clicking on the name. Now it's time to import. You can upload a CSV file or an Excel file, but what we're going to do is use the My Drive file because I've already collected that information here through my spreadsheet. Google then asks, where are your place marks? What's going to tell you that information? In this case, we'll use city and country. Then, what's the title that you want to use? So this is going to be on the list on the left-hand side. Now it's completed, we can see the vacation spots. We can see the names of the different students. I can either click on a name, and that information shows up, or I can click on a, one of the spots. Now keep in mind, once this information is imported, it is no longer part of the spreadsheet information that it came from. So if I ended up updating that spreadsheet, it does not automatically import back in. I can share this map, and I can also go in and edit things. So for example, here I meant to have Tim, not time. I'll go and edit. I can also put in the URL of an image if I want to. And if I decide that I want to not include a piece of information, which in this case would be the timestamp, I can remove it. Now that's what I can do on an individual basis. If I look over here, I have style, data, and labels. Well, I'd like to know what the different animals were maybe, or the favorite thing that they've seen. So I'll go under here, and I'll say, show me favorite thing I've seen. Now when we look at the map, we can actually see trains. We can see the Eiffel Tower, bullfights. Those names are all part of the different information for this map. Kind of hard to read it, so I'm going to the base map here, and I can pick a number of different kinds of maps. If I go into my share page here, I can say and invite whoever I want. I can also change the access to allow this to be visible on the public to anyone. By default, these maps are not available to the public. Once I've gone and I've shared this to the public, I then can go over to here and I can say, I want to embed this on my site. This will give me the code that I need to paste it onto my HTML site or into my Google Sites so they will display up on that site as well. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you'd like, you can follow me on Google+, Trevor Beck, or you can use the URL bit.ly slash Trevor Beck.